Cook Douglas Farr Lemons was founded in 1961 by the three initial partners, Bob Farr, my father, Bill Cook, PE, and Nelson Douglas, PE. As the firm developed and its need for additional team members was realized, David Lemons joined us from Memphis. Therefore, we are now Cook Douglas Farr Lemons. They had a vision of how the practice of architecture and engineering should work. Coming from a large firm, they discovered that if they worked together, they provided a better quality service for the industry and design. When I joined the company, one of the things that intrigued me about CDFL was the fact that we had multidisciplinary um, concept and working with engineers, architects, all under one roof just was really compelling because it looked at a whole systems concept to me of working with the client from beginning to end with every aspect of the project. And I think it um, is one of the things that drew me to the firm. I would say the biggest thing I have learned working at CDFL is the fact that we do have the power of plus, the architects and the engineers working together. It really is an asset. I came from 14 years of working in just an engineering background. It, things flow a lot more smoothly here and the coordination is a lot better with everybody in house. One of the really wonderful aspects of the firm's structure was that the founders always looked to the future. They always saw that something was going to happen past them. They wanted to see the firm's fabric continue. One of the things that's been really great to see is as I move into this new role of leadership, how the younger staff has also moved into to newer roles and developed and really taken on leadership positions and becoming, you know, the intern architects are getting their licenses and becoming project architects and project architects becoming project managers. Um, it's a really great evolution of the firm to see us go from one generation to the next and have that sort of generation behind us continue to sort of develop and be ready to sort of step into those positions in the near future. Working with uh, seasoned architects and engineers has helped um, greatly um, in my career path. Um, it has really inspired me. Having those guys here and being able to refer to them anytime that I need help has uh, not only increased um, my understanding of what I'm trying to do uh, in architecture, but also increase uh, my character and help me understand how to get to the next level of my career. The firm has had the opportunity to work in a breadth and depth of projects that have made a difference to the entire community, not just the community of Metropolitan Jackson, but the entire state of Mississippi and the entire South. I think some of my most favorite projects um, have to do with the experience and with the client relationships that I've been able to form over the years. Working with, for instance, at the University of Mississippi, working with the Thad Cocker National Center for Natural Products, that was one of my favorite projects. Uh, but one of the most interesting parts of that was getting to know and learn what the client was trying to accomplish. What we were able to do was create spaces that enabled them to be successful. One of the most impactful projects I've worked on has been the Children's Hospital expansion and I learned things there that I just probably wouldn't have learned anywhere else uh, from the technical aspects of the job but also just the the human aspect of it and I was glad to be a part of such a big project. As a general rule most people want to have an impact you know beyond themselves or beyond what they do from a day-to-day -day, uh, uh, standpoint and so we have had the opportunity to be involved with so many impactful projects. We have been able to provide educational opportunities for people through our university work. We have been able to be involved in entertainment through sports facilities and other things, and just in the health and welfare of our community. So we have had great opportunities to really do something and be a part of something that is way beyond each of us as an individual. And so that is something to be proud of.